In this video, we will demonstrate how to install the Glenn Johnson 550 Overhead Stop and Holder. After watching this video, you will be able to adjust the slider arm to fit your opening, measure and drill the hole locations for the jam bracket and holder, and switch between the stop only or stop and hold functions. These are the tools you will need. We will install the 550 overhead on a wood door and hollow metal frame. If the overhead will be installed on the same side as the door closer, special templates may be required. Contact your door hardware supplier for assistance. Open the box and remove the overhead, screw pack, and instruction sheet. The 550 can function as stop only or as a stop and holder. You can set the function by positioning the latch inside the holder body toward the spring for the stop function and away from the spring for the stop and hold function. Please note that use of a mechanical hold open is not permitted on fire doors. In this video, the door is not fire rated and the hold open function is desired. So the latch is set away from the spring. Move the slider arm over the latch, as shown. Then, install the set screw in the hole closest to the spring and tighten. For the stop only function, set the latch away from the spring and install the screw in the other hole. Measure the width of your door. In this video, the width is 36 inches. Note the stamped label on the slide assembly. Ensure that the arrow underneath the range into which your door width falls is pointing toward the spring. If the slide assembly needs to be reversed, remove the end cap as shown. Pull the slider assembly out of the channel, rotate the slider mechanism 180 degrees, and reinsert it into the channel. Replace the end cap. Next, determine how far your door should open. In this video, the door opens to about 95 degrees. Therefore, we want the door to stop before then at 90 degrees. Note the type of hinge used on the door. Your door may be hung on butt hinges or a type of pivot. In this video, the door is hung on butt hinges. Using the tables on page one of the installation instructions, determine the slider arm setting based on your hinge type door width, and desired opening degree. This is column L in the table. In this video, the setting is 16 and 5 16 inches, or 415 millimeters. You may wish to use a pen or marker to keep track of your settings and measurements during installation. Loosen the two screws of the slider arm with the included hex wrench. Slide the slider arm down the jam arm until the correct millimeter value is shown. Tighten the two screws with the hex wrench, ensuring that the notches of the slider arm fit into the notches of the jam arm. Determine the hole location for the jam bracket from the same table, based on your door width, hinge type, and desired opening degree. This is column B. In this video, the hole location dimension is 7 inches. Starting from the center line of the hinge, measure along the soffit of the frame to the distance you identified from column B of the table. Make a mark. Use the square set to 5 eighths of an inch to draw a line parallel to the stop of the frame. Draw two more parallel lines that are 3 16 of an inch on either side of the first line. Measure and mark 1 and 5 eighths, 2 and 1 quarter, and 2 and 7 eighths inches from the first B mark and use the square to extend these marks along the soffit. The four hole locations for the jam bracket lie at the intersections of those marks as shown. Double check the measurements by holding up the jam bracket and confirming all hole locations are visible. 
center punch those four hole locations. Determine the hole location for the holder from the same table, based on your hinge type and door width. This is column A. In this video, the hole location dimension is 8 and 3 quarter inches. Starting from the center line of the hinge, measure along the face of the door to the distance identified from column A of the table. Make a mark. Close the door, measure 2 inches down from the soffit, and make the first reference mark. Then, measure 18 inches horizontally from that mark along the door. Make another mark. Use the square to extend this reference mark down from the soffit 2 inches. Place the overhead against the door, aligning the bottom with both 2-inch reference marks and the mounting hole at the spring end with the mark from column A of the table. Mark both hole locations through the holder, as shown. Drill 1 8 inch pilot holes in the two hole locations on the door. Transfer the hole locations to the opposite side of the door. Drill 1 8 inch pilot holes on the other side. Drill the two holes in the door with the half inch bit from both sides. Drilling from both sides ensures the holes meet in the middle and prevents chipping the veneer of the door. Drill the four holes in the frame with the number 7 drill bit. After you have drilled the holes in the frame, look for a reinforcement plate. If there is a reinforcement plate, Tap the holes with the quarter 20 tap. If there is not a reinforcement plate, install a rivet nut and do not tap. Install and secure the two through bolts for the holder. Then install the holder on the door and secure with the two through bolt screws. Install the jam bracket onto the frame and secure with the four screws. Insert the control knob screw into the control knob and tighten the control knob onto the holder as shown. Test the operation of the holder by opening the door and ensuring the holder stops at the desired degree of opening. If you would like to use the control knob to switch from stop and hold to stop, remove the set screw. For assistance, Contact Customer Care at 877-671-7011.